beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're doing an inspired BYOP that stands for build your own palette I love creating my own palette color stories and I draw all kinds of inspiration whether that is shopping my stash of single shadows to recreate an existing palette or maybe create a dupe of a discontinued palette I've done palettes created for the seasons. I've done build your own palettes inspired by the different zodiac signs. I love to draw all kinds of inspiration and make my own eyeshadow palettes. So today I'm actually going to be taking inspiration from some existing palettes and combining that inspiration into one big palette. Basically, the eyeshadow palettes that I'm inspired by today for this palette are from Cosmic Brushes, specifically their Muse and Serenity palettes. I really am drawn towards these color stories and I've actually heard great things about this brand. There are a lot of creators here who I respect and who I count among my friends, so I very much trust their opinions and they seem to really like these palettes. I would actually love to purchase the real palettes someday but they're always sold out. Every time I check, every time it pops into my brain to go and see if either of these palettes are in stock on the site, they are always sold out, which is a great accolade for the brand. I doubt they would be constantly selling out if they weren't really good. So eventually I would love to get my hands on the actual palettes, but for now I'm going to draw inspiration and combine some of my favorite shadows and shadow combos from these two palettes to create my own little BYOP version. So I'm gonna take you through the process of selecting these shades. I'll show you each and every one of the shadows that I picked for my palette. I'll show you some swatches and I'm also gonna do an eyeshadow tutorial for this eye look that I'm wearing today that I created, of course, using my own little palette here. So let's get into the palette building process first. First, I'm taking inspiration from the Muse palette, and actually the first half of my palette is inspired by the first nine shades. These are the ones that I am really initially, like, gut reaction drawn to from this palette, and I'm not doing exact dupes. I'm not going through and swatching and saying, okay, this exact color, exact finish, but I'm really just looking into my own collection and seeing where this color story can be even loosely recreated because I already purchased these singles. So I know I'm already interested in these colors individually and I know I'm inspired by this color story as a whole. So I'm kind of using those two pieces of information to select my shades instead of painstakingly trying to color match, finish match every single shadow. I'm using this more like a loose framework to select some shades. So they're not going to be exact dupes, but that's the beauty of this inspired palette framework. It's really just encouraging me to use the single shadows that I already have in my collection and just helping me combine them in a new way that Maybe I haven't previously used them together. So it's a fun exercise, but it's also a great challenge that gets me using my singles. I love to create my own color combos and kind of put my own twist on these existing color stories. So they're not exact, but I did try my best to recreate this first part of the palette. I'm gonna switch over to the Serenity palette for a few shades and I just pulled some colors that I was initially really drawn to that I thought would look nice with the first few shades that I selected. So I'm skipping around a little bit more and taking a little bit more leeway with the Serenity inspired shades. So for example, I do have a really close match for this lavender periwinkle type of color. For the next one, I am using something that's a little bit more bright purpley versus more of a blue purple. And then the next shade for the green matte 
Instead of picking one or the other, I chose something that sort of was in between these two greens. It's a little bit of a mixture. And I did the same thing for the next color I'm going to choose. I was inspired by two different shades from these two different palettes. I picked something that was not quite as blue as Serenity, not quite as purple as Muse, but really in between this dark blurple royal color is the perfect mashup. With this type of project, there's plenty of leeway to do that type of thing, and I really encourage you to use existing palettes that you're interested in as a jumping off point, but don't feel entirely married to the idea of a perfect dupe if you don't want to or if you don't have the right shadow you don't have to go out and buy 18 new shadows you really can just be inspired by what you see and then put your own twist on it because like I said previously you purchase singles that you were already interested in so you can use that to maybe help you put your own twist or your own style on an existing color story I've put my own twist on an existing palette before in a BYOP video, but I don't think I've ever done a mashup palette like this before. I definitely want to do more of these because I think this turned out so fun and it really helped me distill the shades and the color combos that I am most drawn to and most interested in from these palettes. I would absolutely love to do another mashup palette like this if you thought this process was fun. So leave some suggestions in the comments of either palettes you want to see me recreate, whether that's duping, putting my own twist on it, or doing another combo mashup BYOP like this. Not only are these super fun to create and play with, but I really love the idea of encouraging you to dig through your own shadows and come up with your own color combinations. And they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be completely dupes or, you know, you can even change your mind and rearrange them the next day. That's the beauty of these magnetic palettes. I really like this arrangement because I see these two nine pans as so inspiring and so different from one another, but in the context of this whole palette, I think they work really well together. We have that more rose, grungy rose nine pan and then a really bright like spring summer color story. And these also work nicely in their own rows. I know not everybody is going to be comfortable putting all of these colors together into a look, but even if you look at two side-by-side -side shades, they're often in some nice little duos as well. Even if you curate a palette like this and you only use two, three, four shadows at a time, as long as it's helping you to use what you have in your collection and look at your shadows maybe in a different way or to be inspired in a different way. I think that that's useful and it's a great way to have fun with your collection without having to constantly purchase new things. Now here are all of the swatches together. You can see Muse palette on top, Serenity palette below, and I do think that my palette ended up being a great baby between the two of them. Not a perfect match to either one, but you can tell they all fit together. They're all in the same family for sure. I want to show you a little close up here so that you can see the texture of these shadows. And I am going to list everything in the description box. I'll list all of the shadows in order. That way, if you had trouble keeping up when I put the shade names up previously, you can always refer to the description box and hopefully you find that helpful. I do want to show you some of these shades in action because I really was inspired to actually use these colors together, not just to build this palette. I ended up using a lot from that very top row. That was the initial attraction to me is this rosy red and green color combination. So that's what I wanted to use first. And I definitely came up with a look that I feel is 
a stretch for me creatively, colors that I wouldn't have necessarily selected on my own out of my singles, but it still feels like my style. It still feels very comfortable for me to wear. I did this rose and red base color and then I started adding in the greens and some duochrome and it really just brought the whole color story to life. I love the way that these shades work together. At first I was a little afraid that it was going to be like Christmassy, but once I started adding the duochrome shades, it really just gave it a whole new dimension. This Terra Borealis shade is so stunning and it has that reddish brown base, but it has a bluish green sparkle to it. So it just married these shades perfectly. And then I added a little bit of hot spiced cider to the very inner part of the lid. Instead of the inner corner, I brought that onto the inner part of the lid. And I also did basically the exact same shades on the lower lash line, just mirroring that look onto the lower lash line in a little bit of a more subtle way. But I love the way that this turned out. It's that perfect mix between being colorful and being neutral. It's not so in your face and loud, but it's definitely not your run-of-the-mill little taupey neutral look either. This is exactly the type of eyeshadow that I love to wear. I feel like it perfectly encapsulates my style and I have kept this BYOP intact and have been using it and I love it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I definitely will most likely still try to purchase these two palettes just because I am very curious about the performance and how different the shades are. Obviously, I only had pictures from the internet to go off of, and I really like this palette. It's really fun. It's definitely inspiring to me, and it's the type of colors that I can really see myself reaching for and wearing a lot. Usually doing a BYOP kind of kills the urge for me to want to purchase the Inspiration palette or palettes, but this time it's kind of the opposite. It just makes me want to try them even more. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about the palette I created. Have you tried the Muse and Serenity palettes from Cosmic Brushes? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Seasons, I've done palettes ex expired. Inspired. <laughs> wow. What? Maggie's not happy about something. This look is super cool. I really like it. Oh man, I have a bunch of cool trips coming up and I have no idea what outfits to pack. I wish I had a fairy godmother to help me <laughs> choose my outfits and pick only the things that are going to make me look and feel amazing and figure out which shoes I need and not to overpack everything. You would think after 37 years on this earth I would have acquired some more skills. I'm good at packing stuff for a trip. I'm always the person that has wet wipes and extra aspirin and phone chargers and you know I'm so good. Excuse you. I'm so so good at that stuff but I just suck at envisioning what outfits I'm gonna need. Major first world problems but I am a little stressed about that because I want to be cute but I also want to be comfortable and I just I don't know. I like having options. I like just getting up and figuring out what I want to wear on that day and not having it planned out. But when you pack, you have to plan. Maybe I'll do a little fashion content and see if get everybody to vote on my outfits for me. You guys pick. I can't do it. Anyway, I'm an adult. I've been wearing these Rare Beauty lip oils. I bought three colors when they first launched because I really wanted to try them. I love lip tints and I love lip oils. And the idea of a tinted lip oil that leaves a little stain sounds great. I don't, I'm not going to be buying any more of these. I don't actually think I like them, but they're just, I don't think they're for me. That's definitely a hot take. People are loving these. I just, I'm not that obsessed. They're just kind of meh for me. Sorry. I still like Rare Beauty, but I just don't like this product that much. To each their own. Gotta go. Thanks for hanging out. I love your face and I will see you soon. Okay? Bye-bye right. now. Bye-bye.